M4 tournament picks and mains are unique and they are about to go meta soon. If you didn't get time to watch those matches, let me give you a helping hand and talk about the absolute heroes that pro players choose as their win conditions. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I will talk about the top picked and banned heroes in M4 during the group stages which will let you get an early update on the meta picks and also discuss the heroes that have the highest win rates in the whole tournament. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. I want to get straight to the point and move to the top picked heroes. Starting from the fifth. We have three heroes on the list which got picked 10 times. The list includes Lapu Lapu, Lolita and Beatrix. You see, when you pick a hero, according to me, the most important feature to look upon will be their ultimate and their effectiveness. And all of these heroes deliver those. You can consider Lapu to be on the burst and sustain side. He can be the most effective side laner anyone can ask for. Next, we have Lolita because of her second and ultimate skill that can be used as a very practical support. See, I understand that her ultimate can be countered but 4 more heroes are roaming around her too. So yeah, the team composition matters on whether you will be able to counter her or not. And next will be Beatrix. Even though she is nerfed a lot, her mechanics can be quite harmful when you face her in high league matches like the M4. She can use her ultimate twice, plus she gets different weapons that change the counter to her attacks which makes dealing with her more complicated. In the 4th place we have Chu and Valentina that were picked a total of 11 times and that is quite understandable. You see, Chu is something that has been nerfed to death, yet Chu goats find a way to utilize him in the best way possible. You will find him being played as a roamer, experienced laner or even a jungler. You can have him as one of the most versatile heroes of all that not only fits into the game but also performs in the meta. You just need the right hands to play him. And not to forget about Valentina who has always been effective in hitting back the enemies with their ultimate moves. Most of you guys who play Valentina already know how good she is with the region apart from stealing ultimates and we will leave you guys with that. Moving on to the third on the list, Eve. Some of you might agree and some might not but slow effect is one of the most threatening debuffs that can affect not only your positioning but also affects how you move in and out of the ganks and Eve is one perfect hero that can slow and join enemies effortlessly. After that we have Kerry in the second spot. And if you didn't see Kerry being banned on the ranked matches already, let me tell you, she is an abomination for the enemies. You see, recently the Demon Hunter Sword and Curse Inside got bugged and that impacted Kerry as she is one of the MMs who heavily depends on the Golden Demon build. Tanks and fighters just run for their life as Kerry turns to be effective from mid to late game. If you are still clueless then let me tell you. Golden Staff triggers the DHS passive and carries true damage at the same time and the curse in sight makes her attack speed faster. All adds up to multiple benefits as to why she has now become a monster for the other heroes. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamond, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 50k MLPB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between our various packs. And the top picked heroes that we have on the list is Fredrin. Played mostly as a tanky jungler, Fredrin can actually CC lock their opponents and his ultimate does deal damage against the squishy targets in his range. 
His second skill also works as a gap closer and this helps him a lot in crowd controlling his enemies. I consider all of the heroes to be viable picks in the ranked matches and most of you guys should try them out when playing with your squad mates. After that I want to move to the top banned heroes and on the 5th we have Valentina. She was banned 51.8% of the time and as I have mentioned earlier, she sure is hard to deal with. I am sure you don't need much of an explanation for that so I want to move to the next heroes. On the 4th we have two heroes, the first will be Kaja and that will be all thanks to the latest buff on his passive and his ultimate. Also I want to mention that Kaja's ban might not be the best ban you can go for right now but yeah he is one of the top 4 ban heroes in the tournament. And the same thing I want to say for the glue ban too. A glue main sure can turn the game around but currently in my server Martis and Leo mode are much of a threat. So better go for those right now. Next on the third we have Joy just because of her crazy dashes and we can all agree to that without much of an explanation. So let me move to the second most banned hero on the list that is one one. And similar to Joy she can also be very annoying to face against. You will be mostly annoyed because of her perk skills. Immune ultimate can also be added as one of her annoying feature you will be able to add in the long list of her pesky features. And the top most banned hero will be Fanny who has been banned for almost 85.1% of the matches. She is banned for her early game effectiveness and if you are still wondering why then let me tell you M4 matches are mostly 10 to 12 minutes long and that is mostly the early to mid game duration of the game. And if Fanny is let out and played by such awesome players who manages to be effective, which they will be, you don't even have a chance for a comeback to follow it up. Now let me get to the heroes with the top win rates of all. At the 5th we have Kairi with a win rate of 56.2%. Mind one thing that she is also one of the top picked heroes. Next we have Lapu Lapu with 60% win rates which was also included in the top picks. Valentina was placed on the 3rd which was both of the top picked and banned heroes and also managed to grab a win rate of 63.6%. After that we have Ling on the second position with a win rate of 66.7%. And Eve have managed to grab the highest win rate of all securing 69.2%. So these were some stats of M4 team based on the group stages. I decided to make a video on this to let you guys have an insight on the meta heroes. So do let me know if this video helped you and comment your thoughts about this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.